Welcome to ETF Battles. I'm Ron DeLegge. In this episode, we've got another epic battle for you, this time between two stock ETFs that are designed to minimize volatility. It's USMV versus SPLV in the ring. So we're going to pick these two ETFs against each other, breaking them down in four key categories, cost, diversification, theme outlook, and performance. And at the end of the show, we are going to declare a battle winner. Helping us to judge the battle between USMV and SPLV are two industry pros and ETF experts. We've got Dave Krinsis with us. He's from ETF Portfolio Management and Mike Akins at ETF Action. Guys, welcome to the program. Good to be with you, Ryan. We're going to get this battle between USMV and SPLV started, and we're going to go through again those four key battle categories one at a time. Each of you will pick USMV or SPLV as the category winner. And then you'll have 30 seconds to do that. So let's start the first battle category. Let's begin with cost. Who wins the battle? Is it USMV or SPLV? Dave, you've got 30 seconds. Thanks, Ryan. Let me just say that we are not trading these stocks. We don't have positions in them, in these ETFs. But for cost comparison, it's easy. USMV wins with a 15 basis point expense ratio, almost half the 25 bips for SPLV. Mike? Thanks, Ron. I think from a cost perspective, they're both very liquid. They both have a great uh, total cost component from a standpoint of liquidity, um, competitive, and that USMV is at 15 basis points. SPLV is a little higher, 25 basis points. But when you consider that there's only a 50% overlap between the two portfolios, from a cost perspective, it's going to have very little impact in overall performance. That being said, you got to give it to USMV because it's 10 basis points cheaper. All right. Next grading category is diversification. Let's start with Dave. Sure. On diversification, I would really call it a tie. They both have 100 positions or more. USMV is heavier in tech, SPLV and utilities. Both have maximum positions under 2%. Both are over $10 billion in assets in their ETFs. So diversification is a bit of a draw, but we'll give the win to USMV. All right. Mike, what's your take? I think the clear winner here is USMV simply because of sector diversification. Um, if you're using these products as a core to your portfolio, USMV has a built-in part of their index to ensure five, a buffer of five plus or minus 5% from the large US market cap weighted index. So with that respect, you'll get a more um, return like the market with respect to not having too much sector exposure. Um, and you have SPLV with nearly 30% utilities which really um, is a big overweight relative to the broad market. All right, excellent. Let's move along to the next battle category, theme outlook. Dave, what's your take? So for the themes, USMV is using a multi-factor value and momentum process, while SPLV takes the 100 S&P 500 components with the lowest 12-month volatility. For overall efficiency, we would favor the SPLV algorithm, so that gets the win for us in this category. All right, Mike, what's your take? Uh, at ETF Action, we look at the portfolio as it currently exists today, especially when we're thinking about theme or outlook. And from that perspective, looking at forward earnings guidance, um, both on sales and revenue, USMV has a similar drawdown capture and risk, but from a fundamental perspective, um, has a much higher um, growth perspective on outlook, both on a trailing basis, but also on consensus analyst estimates. We've got to give the win to USMV because we believe we're gonna continue into a, into a growth market. Excellent. And this is the final battle category, performance. Dave, what do you think? So the performance is most important. That's where everything else is you know, tied together. Neither of these ETFs existed during the major stress years of 2008 or 2011. But in 2018, they were both roughly flat. Last year, both up nearly 30%, both down mid single digits this year very similar performances over the past three and five year returns. So performance is a bit of a nail biter. In general, we would have to lean towards USMV. Excellent. And uh, Mike, weigh in, please. Totally agree with Dave. If you look at the performance construct, the two portfolios over the last five years, they're very similar. It's a bit of a toss up. I tend to lean towards USMV because it does have the, the better performance, but also to the other factors I've said, with respect to capturing more of the entire market. Um, also, um, I would just note that while we haven't seen 
uh, stress event that we are currently, um, as we're seeing in the market right now, you can look at these portfolios and see from their upside downside captures, they have achieved um, on the upside perspective about 60% and on the downside about 60%. So they are um, doing what they're supposed to be doing and they're very similar, but the nod goes to USMB because they've got the, they've got the better performance since in common inception. Well, guys, thanks for weighing in. And that does it for all four battle categories. So who won the grudge match between these two low volatility ETFs? Well, it's clearly USMV. And uh, that's the fun to beat in this particular category. So be sure to put it on your watch list. And that does it for this episode of ETF Battles. Thanks again to Dave and Mike for joining us. Which ETF Battles would you like to see on the next episode? of ETF Battles. Well, post your thoughts in our YouTube comments section, or you can hit us up on Twitter. At ETF Guide is our Twitter handle. Thanks for watching ETF Battles. I'm Rhonda Leggy with ETF Guide. We'll catch you next time.